everyone. Hi, my loves. I hope everyone is doing great today. Today, I'm going to be showing you and explaining to you how I style my ottoman for Christmas for 2018. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to be showing you a couple of different styles the way that I like to decorate, okay? So if you're interested in staying and seeing this video, just stay tuned. Okay, now here's my tray. This is the one we're gonna be styling today. Okay, there we go. Now, I like to start off by putting something soft up under my tray. I have this white faux fur up under it, and that's just to make it soft and not to scratch up the ottoman. On top of it, I have my round mirror tray that I purchased from Home Goods about, about two years now I've had it, which I purchased for $39.99. Now, there are two ways that I like to decorate and style my tray. One of them is that I like to go by height. I like to start with something that's tall in the back, and then I like to go down to levels to something that's like medium size, then a little lower down, and then even lower than that. The second way I like to decorate is by um, the number of items that I have on a tray. Now, I usually go by odd numbers. Now, if my tray is small, like this one, I will, like, decorate by, like, three items, five items, or seven items, depending on how big my tray is. Now, as you can see on this tray, I have five items. Now, this look of the tray is the look that I usually have every day, except for the blinged reindeer and the Christmas um, ornaments back there. I usually don't have that on there. But this is my usual everyday look. And the reason why is because I don't like changing out my tray a lot. Now, if I'm out shopping and I see an item that catches my eye, I might pick that item up and then just switch another item out on the tray for that item. But as far as that, if I like the way the tray is looking and, you know, I'm looking at it every day and it looks nice and pleasing to me, then I usually keep it the way it is. Now, um, as I was saying about the height, the height of things is important because if you have everything that's the same height, whether it be tall or whether it be small, um, it's going to look like your eye can't comprehend, you know, everything that's on the table. You know, it can't appreciate everything that is on the tray. And by that being said, that's why height is important because then your eye can go down to each item and process each item. Now, as far as how many items you have on your tray, it's best to keep it at a minimum because if you overcrowd your tray, it will look out of place and it, it'll be too busy and too much to look at. Okay, so let's start with the item in the back here. I have this mirrored vase that I purchased from Home Goods, and this vase was $10.99. And inside this vase, I just have some Dollar Tree florals that I embellished with some little beads that I cut up and that I put on there. And these are just some Dollar Tree floral, as I said. This is actually a clip-on, and these are some berries. And I'm going to put that back there. Next in front of it, I have my candle which is a candle from walmart that's in the scent vanilla and i just tied a ribbon around it and embellished it with a little crystal in the middle 
And, you know, as I told you in my other video, I love to embellish my uh, candle tops. And this one has a crystal on it as well. Now, over here, I have my blinked out reindeer that I purchased from Big Lots last year. And she is so blingy. And, y'all, I'm a little extra. So, I had to even embellish her even more. And I like doing that to different things. I embellished her with some more uh, fur around her feet, around her ankle, and... She was telling me, you know, I want to prance. I got all this fur around my neck. I need to prance. So I said, okay, I'm going to put this fur around here. And that's how I did her. And she sits over there. And over here, I just have a soap dispenser that I purchased from Home Goods that cost me $7.99. And I use it as a diffuser. And in it, I have some black reed sticks. That was purchased from Amazon. And I just embellished it with some jewels around here. So to camouflage the neck of it. And as I said, this is a um, soap dispenser. And I use it for a diffuser. And I like doing that. I actually like um, getting something and turning it into something else. I get a kick out of doing that. Because who says you got to use it before what it's for? You can use it for anything that you want. Now, in front of the candle, I have a flower crystal lotus that I purchased from an Asian store. And it cost me $12.99. And this is just so adorable, y'all. Now, I think $12.99 was quite pricey, but considering the fact that it lights up and that it turns, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And it has the different lights. It has the red and the green and the blue. It's so adorable. Now... I do need to set my candle up on something so it will raise it up a little bit higher so you will be able to see the name of the candle and the ribbon and the little crystal in there. So I could just like put it on a little stand or something just to raise it up a little bit more. And that's style number one. Now, for style number two, I'm going to change out the vase. I'm going to change out the diffuser. I think the candle. And I'm going to add in this lantern. Put that there. And since we already have light with the candle, I'm going to take the crystal out. And I'm going to add in some more candles. And I think I'm going to add in, um, I think I'm going to add in this merit ball right there. And I have my five items. Now, this lantern came from Home Goods as well, and I embellished it with some sequins, and I spray painted it silver because it was originally black, and I just added some ribbon to it and some little floral on the side, Christmas floral. And the candle inside actually is a set. It goes to these two, which did not come with the lantern. I just put that in there. And I embellished my candle with some glittered ribbon all around. And this is a mirrored ball that I purchased from Walmart, I have for years. It was originally a blue orb and I wanted to change the look of it. So I glittered it and I grouted it and I made a mirrored ball. 
and that's style number two. Now, we're going to even change that out again for style number three. Um, I might leave. No, I'm going to take this out. For style number three, we're going to take this out. And I think I'm going to add my mirrored vase back in. And since we have um, the mirrored ball, that's a little bit too much mirror with the mirrored vase. So I'm going to add this in and I'm going to add this in and I think I said this is style number three. Okay. Now I've added in this glass vase here, which has this top that actually was originally from another smaller vase. But I put it on here because I liked it better on here. And I just put some table salt in here to mimic snow with some glitter and some Christmas ornaments with my little um, glittered pine cone in here. And I'm going to set that there. And this is a nativity scene that I purchased from Walgreens last year. It has the glitter incandescent um, stand and it's like an ice sculpture. It lights up, it plays music. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I didn't turn the light on because if I did, it probably would blind you in the camera. So I'm gonna put that back in the middle. Now, I know I only have four things here, but this works on the basis that the items are kind of over, you know, overly large. And if I put anything else in here, it probably would not balance it out. So four items on this tray for this look is fine. Now, that was style number three. Now, I'm going to just change this out. I'm going to add this in. This will be style number four. I kind of like that. And all this is, it's just like a glass vase. And I just have some sand in here with some glitter in it and my little um, tea light there. And that's there. Now, that's only four things, so I probably would put in maybe something like this, which is small, and it is nothing but a Christmas little ornament I got from the Dollar Tree, and that can sit there. Okay, so there's four styles for you, if you can see that. I have one more style for you, but it is with a square tray. Okay, I'm going to try to set the camera over here, so bear with me, y'all. Okay, there we go. Camera don't want to act right. Okay, y'all. There we go. Now, as I was saying, this is a square tray that I DIY, and it's nothing but some DIY um, Dollar Tree picture frames that I took the frames out of, and the bottom is a, I believe it was a glass picture frame that I used, and I just put the picture frames all around the sides, and... I took some mercury glass spray paint and spray painted the bottom of it to make it look like mirror. And also on top of that, 
I just added some Dollar Tree mirrors inside. So I have a lot of mirrors on here. And this is a Mercury face that I purchased from Home Goods that just have some Dollar Tree florals in them. And this is if you know you don't like all white or you don't like to use um the, the bling and the silver and you want to use the traditional colors, you know, you can use the traditional colors. This is what I have in my bedroom currently. This sits um, at the end of my bed and I'm using the traditional colors in my bedroom. Now this is a sleigh that I thought was so adorable from the Dollar Tree. And I just have that set in there. And here I have a crackled glass soap dispenser again from Home Goods. I love using the dispensers for my uh, reeds, for my diffusers, and for my incense. And these are some incense from the Dollar Tree. I believe it's in Black Cherry. And the reason why I like using the uh, reed diffusers is because like when you're sitting on the couch or wherever you're sitting around it, you can, you know, get that aroma in the air and it smells so amazing if you have a nice scent. And this is just some Dollar Tree bulbs that I have in a Dollar Tree candle holder that's hammered in silver. And my little mirrored box here is from Home Goods. And it cost $9.99. And this is just a box to hide and camouflage my remotes. There. And it fits perfectly in there. So there's another style for you. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and give it a thumbs up. Please share it. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Guys, I love, love, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I hope that you get everything that you're looking for out of this channel. I hope I do you know, all the DIYs and things that you want to see. And I hope you'll hang around and go on this journey with me. And for the ones who haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. So everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping in. Until the next video, bye.